Pull and pull. Monument of a cedar. Carving a bird from a block of wood is hard work, but imagine carving animals on a piece of wood as long as a tree trunk. Native peoples living along the Pacific coast of Alaska and Canada have been doing just that for hundreds of years. These carvings are called totem poles. Totem poles speak. Totem poles are carved in different styles and for different reasons. The figures carved on the poles have special meanings and help tell stories. Memorial poles describe describes describe someone's life or a special event. Other totem people poles tell the history of a clan or family group. And still others welcome visitors. Many houses have totem poles that are part of the house itself. House poles are carved into the doorways on the outside co corners, or、uh, poles that support the roof. These poles show the wealth and the statues of the family. Mortuary poles are like gravestones. The carving on the people honor the life of a person who was died. They tell about the important events and the family relation relationships in the dead person's life. Some totem poles welcome visitors into to a village. These are. Typically, single human figures. They are put near a beach to show visitors that they are welcome. This totem pole tells the legend of a how killer whale clan took a black bear for its request. Was special symbol. This. Illustrations show some of the most common figures you can see on totem poles. Carving a totem pole. In the past, a clan would hire a master carver to make a totem pole. Today, many museums, businesses, and the people around the world also want totem poles created for them. First. They hire a carver and a worker with him or her to plant a pole. The carver finds a tree with no knots or bends. The carver cut down the tree, cuts off the branches and the holes into the workshop. Then the carver ship with the soft outer wood. Often a team of carvers work on the bot totem pole. The master car carver draws the design on the log with a charcoal. The master carver works on the bottom figure of the people of the pole because this figure is the biggest and the most important, and everyone can see it up close. Helpers carve and paint other figures on the totem pole. Carving a bigger pole can take as long as nine months. When the pole is ready, it is brought to the place where it will stand a potlatch. It is held to celebrate the raising of the pole. There is a. Feasting, dancing, singing, and the gift giving, and the total, totem, poles stories are told, prayers, and the blessings may be said for the pole and for the people who own it. Totem poles come from. 
When European explorers came to the coast of Alaska and Canada in the 1800s, they were impressed by the many totem poles. They found many of the poles were taken away and ended up in museums. In 1990, the U.S. passed a law that said the native peoples would be able to get back property that had been taken from them because of its law. Many totem poles are returning to the to their original homes and to the people who created them.